So if specifically if we want to talk about how to improve communication amongst the management, the security staff, and the personnel, we might look to specific communication tools that we could use to help develop a strong uh, security culture. Those could include open meetings led by the senior management. Oftentimes, you, in many organizations you might have worked in, you, maybe you didn't see that. Maybe you didn't see the, the management meeting with all of the personnel at once. Those sorts of open meetings or all hands meetings or sometimes called town hall meetings, those types of meetings are a good way for uh, all personnel to feel like they do have the opportunity to communicate directly to senior management. You might have briefings by section heads and, and on a periodic basis, once a week, once a month something like that, where those section heads can come and talk to their personnel and provide briefings to them and say to them, these are the things that are really important to us right now. So that the personnel then can try and take those values and say, those now must be important to me also. Lunch and learn discussions are a good communication tool. Looking for opportunities in which an employee is already in uh, at work, they're going to take use of some time that they're already maybe using to have lunch or uh, some other break opportunity where you can then inject into it certain discussions, uh, discussions that would be important to overall security for the facility. Uh, an internet security node where you have an opportunity for employees to acquire information about the security posture for the facility, uh, provide information about what it sees in ways of security posture. Now, of course, that needs to be internal to the facility because it could it potentially include sensitive information as well. So you don't want that to be on an outside website or something of that nature. Uh, good email communications, and this is a major issue. Email is sometimes not used in the way it's most appropriate. Good email communications is a major component of communication in today's world. Um, and how do we use those to help develop security culture and not to impose upon the personnel difficult situations that make them less likely to follow security procedures? A good awards program, that's actually a portion of communications. You might think of it as being, oh, this is just about rewarding somebody. It actually goes beyond that. By giving an award to, a, to some personnel within a facility, you're saying to all the personnel that you value that. Those sets of actions and behaviors they took is something that you as a facility value. And you're giving them an award associated with that. award sometimes has monetary prizes with it. Uh, and so it's actually a form of communication, even though you may not think of it that way. And then promotional items that are inscribed with security values. A lot of us sometimes will make fun of these sorts of things, the pens that say this but actually has an impact beyond what you think. That by seeing that, that somebody puts that onto their pen, it not only says that I care about that thing, but I care more about it than the other things I might have put on that pen. I didn't put on that pen, hey, I love where I happen to be located at. I put on that pen that I care about the security for this facility, and that's espousing a value out that you paid money to put it onto that item. So those promotional items do, in fact, matter. A good example of topics for ongoing discussions that could occur within, let's say, a lunch and learn session would be things like emerging threats. That's a topic that can always occur. Have a group of your personnel get together and over lunch discuss what are the potential threats to my facility? How have they evolved? Are there new threats that I hear about? Personnel hear these things in the news. They know about what threats are going on within their local society. And they can then discuss those as a group. Professional conduct is also a good one that can always be discussed. How do we con conduct ourselves professionally? Do we work in a professional environment? Do we maintain a good working environment for all the personnel? That's another good one that can always be discussed. Personal accountability. Vigilance. Vigilance is also a good one that can always be discussed at a lunch and learn type session. Talk about how I'm vigilant. Have people give examples of things that they've done. Where they might point out, oh yeah, I saw this door propped open the other day, or, or oh yeah, I, uh, whatever it was, I, I saw this issue in terms of how the emails were being distributed, whatever it is. Um, adherence to procedures, that's one that can even be done more specifically. You can bring up specific sets of procedures and specific sets of individuals, bring them together and have them discuss the procedures that are being conducted, how they adhere to them, potentially how they don't adhere to them, and then maybe what changes need to be made to the procedures. If they're not adhering with certain procedures, be they um, security procedures, even non-security related procedures, we need to question why is that. And that particular behavior then has two, two uh, 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 positive benefits to you. One, it allows the employees to provide feedback to management on proper procedures. They give to give you their experience and say, well, that procedure that management wrote down doesn't really work when I'm conducting this operation and there's these changes that need to be made. Two, it allows management to tell the employees why those specific procedures existed. 
there may be a reason why step three was in that procedure that the employee has been skipping and not doing step three, and the employee maybe didn't appreciate the importance of that step because they didn't see how it impacted the overall function. But it could have actually been very important. So that's an important part of communication between the management uh, and the, the employees over the procedures themselves. And of course, teamwork and cooperation are always good ongoing discussions. How can we improve teamwork? How can we improve cooperation as a group? How can we work more efficiently as a group? And that can be around security, safety, as well as efficiency for the overall facility.